around and we'll just quickly run through this health and safety stuff so we can get amongst it. Um, first of all, thanks everyone for turning up your head. late September, uh, we're in a pristine alpine valley. The boys are just taking a break doing some glassing. But, uh, oh my God, it's just absolutely, it's gorgeous here. Uh, a bit of a cold wind up our bum too, which isn't good, but uh, other than that, yeah, we're hoping to see some um, chamois, um, maybe some deer. We've seen, we've spotted uh, about five goats, uh, probably straight behind me up on one of those, um, slips over there, uh, gravel, sh gravel um, shoots, uh, didn't expect to see goats, um, but um, yeah, we should see, we're expecting to see some good numbers, hopefully, so um, stick with us. Okay, so there's a bit of action happening. We've got um, potentially six chamois on a on a on a face way back there, about uh, I'd say about 1,400 metres away, so one and a half k's. Uh, so two of the lads have headed off there to um, snoop around the edges and see how close they can get, and we're going to stay here. We're here on an NZDA organised um, access hunt. Um, it's late spring. Um, we're looking for chamois. Uh, some of the blocks will have deer. Uh, this one's going to be predominantly chamois. And we've seen one uh, up on the hillside up here beside us. We stuck the drone up to see what that looked like. Uh, we've also um, seen a mob of goats over this over this side. Um, and so really it's it's quite cool how um, within about a, I don't know, don't even know if we've done 5Ks yet, but within 5Ks we've, we've, we've seen some really good promising um, numbers. So, so that's cool. So we'll, we'll, um, we'll listen out for the shots and then we'll set up camp here and set up base camp for the night. <laughs> well, the bangs went off, the chamois scattered, nine of them there was, and none fell down. So I'll show you on the drone footage where they were, I flew the drone up to have a look. Um, so now we're just heading up the river a little bit further to um, 
to set up camp for the night because apparently it's really cool just around the corner. So today was supposed to be the bad day and you know as you can see it's, it's pretty bloody good. So tomorrow and Sunday are the good days. It's going to be uh, sunshine and less wind. It's a little bit breezy up at Bum today unfortunately um, and the low cloud cover uh, the old drone got up into the clouds a few times which is pretty cool. So that face there um, yeah, it looks different from here, but that face there, right straight up that screen, so the, the chamois went down about the middle of the screen there, and then uh, they slowly their way up the top and up through that chute at the top. So, hopefully, they're not spooked too much, and we might get a chip of chance um, tomorrow. So, I don't know whether we'll be able to see it or not, but there's three stags up there at the bottom of that central scree slide and then at the top of it there's another there's another two up there Paul? another one up the top yeah all right cool good day so far This is the campsite for night one. Man, it's a big country. Well, nearly the end of the day. It's um, it's getting dark. You can't really see on the on the uh, camera, but um, anyway, so I'm just heading down to get some water for me uh, cook up. It's, uh, it's a bit claggy, there's a little bit of um, fog coming down. It's supposed to be a nice day today, so, so fingers crossed it will be. Uh, a couple of us are up, 6am, uh, woken up by the geese flying over. The river's nice and loud all night long, but um, yeah, still pretty good. Had a good night's sleep, plenty of condensation inside the tent. So, uh, I'll get my cooker going. Morning, Mark. How you sleeping there? Cozy. Cozy? Still good. I bet you've got no condensation. Uh, oh, yeah. A wee bit. A little bit. Yeah, mine is too. Good job. Tidy. Mm. Housekeeping award.
Check it. Check. So we've seen a shimmy up there in that gut. And we'll get over those trees so we can get closer. Well, right up the top by the snow there's a nanny. Just laying and resting, chewing. But uh, we've decided to move up and now the boys are stirring up the um stirring up the Canada, Canada geese. So we might not see anything for a bit. Well the geese have taken off and they've gone the other direction where we're heading. So anyway we're still looking up at this girl up at top here. But my god, it'd be bloody near impossible to retrieve. Anyway, onwards. The back. Big white ass on the one in the front or the one in the rear. So we lost the first one. Oh no, look in the other direction. Why up in the middle of the shot here? Well, we spotted a couple of stags. Way up just below the snow line. I'll take it up here. Way up in the middle of the shot up here. Well, there's two stags up there, not of any significance, huge, but uh, no, no antlers of significance. One doesn't even have them if they've um, dropped off. So, heading on around the corner, still doesn't look any better up behind us on this steep base, but um, so onwards, see what takes its head around this corner. It's nice country, plenty of grass. Although it's surprising they're eating the, in the rocks, and eating the grass up in the rocks, so anyway. So we've still got the option when we get to this, somehow, to check out the chamois that's back over way up where it's about sunny up there somewhere. Pretty bluffy though. Right, rather than holding up the boys, they're a lot fitter than me. I've grabbed the giant off Jack and uh, they're going to head on up to that saddle. See what's up there, have a look through the other side. 
I'm just going to sit around here, make my way slowly back down to the bottom and do some glassing. Got to say though, it's pretty spectacular. She's epic scenery, as uh, some would say it's vast. Uh, it's pretty cool. have gone so we went up here and then they've carried on across that spree that spree slide and we're, they're working their way up to the uh, if they haven't already just gone over it um, the idea is just to see what's over there to get out of this wind a little bit and because all we've really seen is a couple of stags on the opposite side which is where the wind's blowing our scent to um, although it's a tailwind now which in that in that direction which is not so flash but anyway uh, they've just I think they've just gone over the top yeah. but meanwhile um, clouds come in it's not quite the beautiful day it started out but that's typical of the alpine stuff uh, I think there's a couple of Kias flying around up there a minute ago she's not always blue sky and sunshine Day three, morning three, the uh, clouds low, the wind's coming up the valley. Uh, some of the boys have headed up to see if the deer are still up there from yesterday. Uh, me and Jack are heading down and we're going to watch these couple of big slips, big scree slides. One up each side. Um, I think last it for a wee while, see what happens. so high to the snow line here as it did up further, eh? They are, yeah. Some beautiful, there's even some caves, there's lots of caves up in these, uh, in the rocks where big chunks fall out. Don't know if it'd go in more than about 10 feet, but big riverbed.
Yeah, so that's the face that the chamois that were missed ran up. They ran up that scree right up and disappeared right up on the top of it the other day. Just heard a rock fall down the rock over the other side. There it lies. A rock tumbled down one of the one of the chutes. So just have a look. So we're heading down a little bit further, we're going to head down to this point and then hopefully we'll get a look back up as well and if we can see what's up to our right the deer, the deer predominantly are on the right hand side in the sunny face, believe it or not, but the sunny sun at the moment is on the left hand side which is where the chamois tend to be hanging out We've been following, in fact we're following them now We've been following these deer footprints, deer tracks for most of the way down this river flat, so it's it's a, it's a good positive sign. Good action. <laughs> Sneak over here and we'll get a good look at what might be up there. Pass up into that gully in the middle of the picture up there. And there's also the other side of this um, totra. There's a whole face up there to keep an eye on. What's for lunch? Bacon and mash. Cool. That's your favourite? Yeah. Sacked him. Oh, there's heaps there. I didn't see them. Not filming that. Oh. Mr. Billy, nice set of horns. Not really the, uh, not the trophy we were after, but still not empty-handed. We was easy even in the shot. There is. Cool. Thank you, Paul, for carrying the head for me. I've got the drone in one hand. Camera in the other. Enjoy the ride, mate. Yo, yo, buddy. <laughs> Three o'clock fucking thing was good. Yeah. yeah. How's it all right, fellas? Yeah, it's just okay. Wicked, mate. Nice. Awesome. Many deer? Yeah. We're about even deer and chain. Yeah. And goats. Goats. Yeah, we had a couple of mobs goats up there, though, yeah. 
Not me, then. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.